everyone. It was a while since I drove the motor last time motorbike. So I've been uh, busy in the recent few weeks and didn't have a chance to ride out. And today as I came back from work and I just see the weather and I could not resist to go for at least a short ride. I'm also testing the new the new bar risers, which are the Exorox rocks rocks bar risers. So let me give you some look at them. So that's them, as you can see them. So the good thing about them is that they are uh, these ones are 50 millimeters uh, high, uh, and also provide you the pivoting, so you can adjust the steering wheel to the front to the back as you as you like it uh, I had uh, 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 what is it uh, pro taper uh, risers which were only 25 mil they were not uh, high enough for me and also the the form that is protecting here actually blocked completely my key so I was struggling to to get my key in and out so this I'm just testing it I'm not sure uh, I have seen that uh, the solution is also good for uh, uh, motocross. However, uh, I'm still a little bit uh, cautious because there are different forces. So currently now, where the standard bar risers are uh, fixed uh, to the to the head, uh, these bar risers actually all the force is actually being consumed by this pivoting join here so any pushing forward or backwards will create a spinning force on that connection so I think I will need to do a few off-road rides to get some more confidence uh, in this system and but in terms of uh, ergonomy I just like the fact that I can adjust uh, I can adjust the angle also uh, and and that they are 50 mil here, yeah, so that's that's the main thing for me because even 25 mil was still not enough. And with this standing position, feels to me more natural. However, again, as I as I mentioned on my riding with your West Yorkshire Ted uh, TRF, uh, it needs more testing. And especially for a longer longer ride because any ergonomy issues there will be more uh, highlighted if you if you spend few hours riding rather than just a short ride so if you are talking about the standing position ergonomy well better to test it than in some uh, TRF uh, ride where you ride for four hours and then you can test uh, whether the new ergonomy really suits you. I think from from the sitting position, uh, this is quite okay. Uh, we'll see how the standing one will be when I go for a longer ride.
look at this beauty. So I went out for a ride after a long time today and this is just about home. So that place there is where people stop to have a beautiful view and you will be able to see the view on the time lapse that I uh, actually you probably have seen it already and I'm going to do also some off-road ride today hello birdie but it's quite chilly I, I put my uh, MX uh, trousers but they are not as fake as my normal trousers and to be honest I didn't ride motorbike for a while so it feels chillier today ah, look what's that there in the background is that castle hill I never realized it's so pronounced from the distance okay so the sun is getting down and it's getting cold and I'm shivering I hope I will get off the road and have some exercise so I will warm up Less speed, less wind, more heartbeats. Mm. Oh, that was bigger jump than I expected. Okay. So the yeah, off-road Whoop. Oh shit Sorry for the language That looks much worse than last time I have been here Definitely worse More beaten up Oh, uh, birdie again Ah, rabbit Look I wouldn't think that actually I will have today excursion of all the wild animals in this area Another rabbit Now there will be a portion which I need to, I'm always cautious of. Wait, where is the, where is the lake? The lake disappeared. Huh. That's funny. I, I'm sure some of you remember last time when I was here. There was a, there was a quite a huge lake, uh, and I ended up riding with my uh, wet feet. So let's just get my goggles on. So the goggles are, no, are on. I hope it will, because I don't like uh, my my shield is steaming. So just put the shield up, put the goggles on. And it should be much better now. <laughs> That's better. Not worrying that I get something in my eyes, and uh, at the same time, probably the mic won't have as much. Uh, Oh, that's wet here than last time. Oh, Whoa. yeah, did I mention that it was raining for the last few days? 
and by raining I mean properly raining so that's why I was expecting the lake to be there which wasn't Oh, gosh, lots of fun will. It's probably getting too confident. Look at this. Beautiful. But I have to say, it's true, I'm warming up. So let's now try this. Hop. Okay. So far so good. Hop. Skip rate. Would you believe that I was in the fifth gear? And that probably was the issue. The steering bar is corrected. And uh, uh, let me let me start again. But this time in more cultivated manner and uh hopefully we do it without any further incidents okay let's go and uh lesson man don't go on the don't go on the fifth gear in the hill. Yeah, that's probably Honda to blame because uh, 
the 300 is such a great torque that you don't realize what gear you are in. Birdie and rabbit It's interesting that you No, know, you get cocky Nothing happens for a while You get faster, faster Then <laughs> One Incident and you start riding over, over carefully to make sure it doesn't repeat and then at some point you always again feel confident enough uh, but yeah, I blame myself that was purely my fault uh, I was in the fifth gear I was going too fast for that terrain and I didn't plan far ahead uh, which was a mistake if I was I was I would 